Spencer firefighters were back on Cherry Street today, wetting down a carriage house destroyed by a fire Tuesday. The chief is calling the fire most likely suspicious and says it and a New Year's Eve fire are both still under investigation. Spencer firefighters were back on Cherry Street again Wednesday after smoke was seen. I'd love to get love to get an excavator in, but we're not going to pay for it. And they have no insurance, right. so I'm right. not going to expend town money that we don't have. Fire Chief Robert Parsons says the three alarm fire broke out in the carriage house and quickly spread, destroying the more than 100 year old building. Parsons says the fire is most likely suspicious. The building did not have any electricity and it's believed no one had been in there for a few days. Kind of a uh, different situation, that's for sure. Parson says the home has been in foreclosure for more than a year, but people are still living in the building. They've been paying the utilities and whatnot, so the water and sewer and electricity doesn't get shut off, but uh, they have not been paying uh, anything on the mortgage or any rent or anything like that. I was working here last summer and there was a lot of activity coming in and out of that house last year. Craig Doobie works on the home next door. He says he wouldn't be surprised if the fire is ruled suspicious because of the unusual activity he sees at the home. They should have it boarded up by now. I'm a little concerned because I'm kind of out in the boonies and uh, you never know, my buildings may go up also. People who live close by are concerned because there was another fire on New Year's Eve one block away, which also started in a carriage house. It's just one of these deals that all of a sudden, you know, you have two within five days, very similar type situation. It does throw up a lot of red flags. Parsons says the state fire marshal's office is now looking at both fires again to see if there's any connection.